Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to the special episode. I am going to show you a trade in uh, crypto. Uh, so far, uh, many times we have been showing only uh, positive trades and today I am going to show one a negative trade. Of course, uh, actually it is my son who trades in cryptos, not me. I just take the credit because I have a brand value in YouTube. Okay. This is uh, an interface and uh, as of now is sitting with about uh, $7.5 thousand dollars total unrealized PNL. and you may remember so last time we have done some trades so we uh, bought 1500 call and then sold 1800 call let us look here this is uh, 1800 call we are sitting at 1248 dollars profit and this is by 1500 123 dollar loss until yesterday actually both were in profit but today only there is a minor loss in call buy and there is a $1250 profit in call sell and you may remember at the same time we also sold 1500 put option. So that we are sitting with about $484 profit. So put together there is about uh, more than $1500 profit. You may remember the margin money for this is only about $5000. So that has given almost 30% uh, return. So this was one trade and I think later we have done another trade also. I think we bought 1800, we sold 2400. What I did yesterday, I am going to show you. Yesterday, I took slightly bullish view and what I did, I bought 2200 put option, 10 Ethereum, right? So, I am sitting with a profit of 254 dollar, but after buying 2200 put option, I sold 2.5 times 1800 put option, where I am sitting with a decent loss of 570 dollars. So, 250 is a profit, 570 is a loss. That means it's uh, sitting with around 300 dollar loss. But I also sold one 2300 call option where I'm sitting with about 80 dollar profit. I'm still sitting with about 200 dollars loss only. Why? Because I've taken a slightly bullish view and this trade I took yesterday. What has actually happened? There was some news, some uh, there was a huge redemption in uh, Binance uh, exchange. Uh, there was so much of uh, Bitcoin was redeemed and a record amount and this and that. There was some news and accordingly uh, the Bitcoin has fallen more than 3% uh, today. Is it more than 3% today? Yeah, 3.6%. So when Bitcoin is falling so much, so as a collateral damage, Ethereum is also falling. That's why we are sitting. But still, number one, still this loss is not a big loss. This is only a very, very small loss compared to the profits we have made already. And then, you know, still there is enough time. Why? Because the trade which I've taken is in the July series. So remember, as and when, you know, new month series open, I tend to take some trade. So earlier we have done in June series. And now we have done it in July series. And you all know about me, I, I always tend to trade uh, in a longer term options, both in equity market as well as in a crypto market. So I'm not an intraday player, you know, just trade this and that. Of course, for some adjustments here and there, we do something. But generally, I tend to trade with a time frame of uh, two to three months. So there's a time. So there's a time to recover. And because now unexpectedly the markets are falling, I'm planning to sell some additional call options as a reference trade. So for which I put the order, but the order did not get triggered. Maybe I may have to wait. 2600 call option. I place order at $31. Now buyer at $28.30 and seller is at $29.90. So maybe as and when there was some uh, recovery in between. So I might sell some additional call options to manage this position. Otherwise, there is still time is there and to manage these positions. So far, no crypto, uh, we are not doing uh, huge volume. We do very, very light volume. And I think we are happy making about five, six thousand dollars per month. That's for my son's pocket money. I think that is more than uh, uh, income of many people. So therefore, no, we because there are many concerns here. Number one, uh, every now and then there are some bad news coming for crypto world 
and then you know the liquidity is uh, slightly a problem so liquidity is really not very good and this and that so that's why uh, we never suggest more than 10 percent of your portfolio to be parked in crypto let us hope that so this interests you so if you want to open an account in delta exchange so you can see the description in the link uh, you can see the link in the description not the description in the link so you can uh, open an account uh, so you will get some good uh, competitive brokerage uh, things so hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you for watching